raw or cooked vegetables, which are better for you and what to do for sore muscles after a tough workout. Some viewer mail concerns for Nancy Dell, our 22 News Registered Dietitian. Thank you as always for joining us. You're welcome. All right, first question. Are raw vegetables more healthy than cooked ones? And Lindsay wants to know. Actually, it's important to eat your vegetables whatever way you like them so you get them into your body. Raw vegetables can have more vitamin C and B vitamins, but cooking something can provide more of some other components of the plant. When you cook a tomato, you may have less vitamin C, but more lycopene. Lycopene can help reduce the risk of prostate and skin cancer. Cooking carrots makes it easier for your body to absorb the beta carotene. If you have irritable bowel syndrome or Crohn's disease, you can digest the cooked vegetables more easily. If you're prone to oxalate containing kidney stones, boiling vegetables like spinach, Swiss chard, and beets releases the oxalates into the water, reducing the oxalate in the vegetable so you can eat them. What about grilling vegetables? Well, a lot of people like to grill vegetables, but you want to be careful because charring food forms compounds that increase your risk of cancer. So it's better to roast vegetables than to grill them and you get the same flavor. Okay, nice to know. All right. How can I reduce muscle soreness after a hard workout? And Tom from Feeding Hills wants to know. According to experts at the University of Pittsburgh Medical Center, tart cherry juice can help your muscles recover from a tough workout. Athletes who drink about 20 ounces of tart cherry juice have a faster recovery, more strength between the bouts of exercise, and have less of what's called delayed onset muscle soreness, or DOMS. That is the soreness that occurs a day or two after exercise. 20 ounces of tart cherry juice is equal to about 90 tart cherries, has about 260 calories. Tart cherry juice may also help you sleep better, according to a study in the European Journal of Nutrition. The study says just one ounce a, twice a day provides melatonin, a hormone that regulates your sleep cycle. So if you use it for sleep, sip the two ounces at night. Win-win. If you have a question for Nancy, you can write to her via the address on your screen or log on to wwlp.com.